Hey and welcome to part 4 of my Medieval Stonewall series. In this one we're going to use the rocks that we sculpted in the last video and apply some alpha maps to it. We will also sculpt some final details and finalize the rocks so we can use it for our wall. And yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's just go straight into it. Alright, so I finished sculpting it and I included all the details I think I'd need. And basically what's left to do now is to apply some alpha maps. And as you can see, it's not really perfect in many places. So for example, here we have some spots that don't look as nice maybe, but um, at first we're going to apply some alpha maps. So this will hide that a bit. And also those rocks will be really small on the wall of the asset in general. When you look at it in games or for example, you won't be really that close to the rock. So that's okay. And again, with the alphas, they will be hiding this a bit as well. And also we're gonna reduce the polygon count in the end, so that's okay for this project. Don't need to be too precise on this. I think the main thing here is that you have your shapes as you would like to. So that it looks rock-like and looks like a rock, basically. And again, this will be quite small, so... It's okay to not be perfect here, so this, is, this isn't this is a mesh that you will be looking in a close-up and seeing it with all its details. So that should be okay. And to apply alphas now, let's use the standard brush. And I already loaded in some alphas like this directional noise, which will be the main detail of the rock now. So let's choose that. Let's go to stroke and check, um, change it to drag rect. Let's set our focus shift to minus 100 and we also go to brush and then to auto masking and turn on back face mask. If you don't turn this on, sometimes the negative of your applied alpha will be at the back side or on the back side of the rock. And as we don't want that, let's just turn it on. And now we have two possibilities. Basically, we can just let's first reduce the intensity here a bit and we can just go in and apply our alpha as like that and that's fine for for that so this now looks quite nice already so let's go to the other side here we could also mask it so let's increase our brush size and press control and then we can just mask that so we are masking the part there um, where we want to have our alpha applied. When we now just click in the viewport, you can see that the mask is inverted. So this is where our alpha will be applied. We can do that as well. But as you can see, we have the soft edges here. But when I apply this now, maybe for that strength, it isn't as visible. So let me show you the extreme. Let's increase the intensity to something high. And when I apply it now and get rid of the alpha uh, of the mask, you can see that we still see where the mask was a bit as the alpha pushed, pushed the, whole, the whole space where the mask was to the front. And in this case, it's not that bad. So we could do this. I did this on some of the rocks. So maybe let's continue like that. Let's see how that looks. Let's set the intensity to, I think I had 12 before. So for this rock or for this mesh in general, this looks quite good. So we can continue to do it like that. But in other cases where you need more precision, this might be not ideal. But now we can just go in and mask that. For example, here I would mask it as when we look on it from the front, you can see the other sides where the alpha is already applied. So we don't want to reapply these details on that as the projection, projection would look weird. So we just go in and paint our alpha here, um, our mask here, like this. Maybe let's include this as well. Or actually, 
let's not actually let's not include that the bottom part we won't include as well and now hold control and click into the viewport then we have masked it out let's just apply our alpha here and with holding control and just um, dragging this you delete the mask and as you can see we didn't have a mask here and now we have this yeah maybe artifact not really artifacts but the alpha made some details here which don't look as nice as we did we didn't do this from the front but in this case i think it's okay it's just some extra details which don't look as bad and again we will be masking it now so when we apply the alpha now we won't see this anymore So let's now do this side and again let's mask it and now this side this part here might be a bit too round but i kind of like it so i leave it as is like that and that looks quite good um now as you can see the directionality of this direction noise is wrong at this side for example but as we won't see that, that's okay. So we'll always need only one side of the rock, so this won't be visible. So that's completely okay. Now we can add some extra details here. Like for example, we can... We can introduce some damage here. And as you can see from the mask, we have this, this edge here, which doesn't look too good. But again, this won't will be just a small rock so that's not okay we can improve that a bit but let's not waste too much time on that again the rock will be quite small and won't be really visible so what i like to do now for this edges here let's use the clay build up brush go to stroke and change it to spray and let's actually keep that alpha let's use a small brush size and let's reduce the intensity as well. We need to go into the negative direction. So we now introduce some broken up out rock. Maybe here as well. So then we use the clay tubes and do the same here with spray. And let's use um maybe alpha 43 draw size is at one minus again this is a bit too intense so as you can see the clay built up brush introduced those um square shapes and we can mask it with this a bit and like that we also get a bit more details in so we have more variance Let's not overdo it but from a distance it looks quite nice you can do it on multiple parts of the rock so again tri uh, not trim smooth border but clay build up let's do it here as well maybe here as well just some broken off rock and clay tubes can maybe increase the brush size a bit maybe let's leave that as is that looks quite nice but we can do this here again and clay tubes maybe let's not overdo it on this one as i have this detail on the other ones as well so maybe let's not overdo it here Let's improve that a bit. That looks quite nice. So now let's um, go back to our standard brush here and use some different alphas like this pause here. Could have done it before as we could have used the mask. That should be in the negative. Maybe let's increase the intensity a bit. Let's do it here as well. Maybe some bigger ones, some smaller ones here. 
don't have any here. We could also break up this noise a bit or this alpha a bit with the um, trim dynamic brush and with the same alpha we use for the trim smooth border so the alpha 28. So we could break this up a bit but I think I don't want to overdo it here as I quite like the rocks as they are. Maybe just on this one side so we have a bit variance. So not too much. So let's get back to our standard brush and let's add some cracks. I have this crack alphas here which I made an instamat. Let's see which one is it. So that's this one. I think this one is a bit too big. Let's use those um, single ones. Can maybe make a crack here. Maybe a bigger one into this direction. And yeah, this is basically the full workflow. And I continue and speed it up here and get back to you later when this is ready. Right, I think that's enough. And now we have enough rocks to fill the wall so that it doesn't have too much repetition and also the rocks are all quite similar so this will, will look quite natural. And I think I don't like this side here because we can see this, um, those edges here. So maybe I won't use that side but let's see. Okay, so that's it for this video and in the next one we're gonna see how we can sculpt the mortar. As always, if you have any questions just ask me in the comments and see you next time.